This presentation is on JETCOM Basics. JETCOM is an acronym for Genealogical Data Communications. It's a way for genealogy programs to talk to each other. It allows all those genealogy names to go from one genealogical program to another genealogical program. Almost any program can export or import genealogical data between each other. These are the most common. Ancestry, MyHeritage, Find My Past are all partners with FamilySearch. Roots, Magic, and Legacy and Ancestral Quest are personal databases that can exchange information back and forth with FamilySearch. Roots, Magic is maybe the easiest to use and seems to be the first to come up with new things. Ancestral Quest is more like the old path program if you're used to that format. And Legacy has a lot of features that are nice, like a nice layout, but it's a little bit more complicated to use. These programs can be obtained for free, or if you want more bells and whistles, you can uh, upgrade each one for about $20. PATH is not being supported or upgraded anymore, but a lot of people still have it. If you do have your genealogy in PATH, they make it easy for you to convert your PATH file into an ancestral quest file without doing a JETCOM. Besides just having your tree on Family Search, it is wise to have your tree in at least one of the partner sites, Ancestry, MyHeritage, or Find My Past, because they each have different search engines and can find hints and sources connected to your tree, and no one can change information in those partner sites without your permission or in the individual genealogy databases. Another benefit, because others can see your tree, there might be someone connected to your family that has information that would be helpful to you, and you can JETCOM them to other places. Family Search does not support JETCOMs, but Family Search links to Ancestry, and you can transport four generations at a time from Family Search into Ancestry, and also add people and sources from Ancestry into Family Search. Both programs can exchange information, including sources, back and forth with each other. They cannot yet transport pictures. They are working on it. I would refer you to adding memories in the family search for the use of the snipping tool and save as in the series. Family search can exchange information between legacy, roots magic, and ancestral quest as well. Jetcoms are not perfect. Jetcoms may or may not bring over nodes. It may bring over sources, but you may not be able to open them up like you do on Family Search. If you can link the two programs, that would be the preferred way. Some general rules regarding Jetcoms. It transfers data only. It does not transfer media at present. There are some exceptions. McKeeve will transport data and pictures from Ancestry, but the pictures may be in a different file and not come up with the individual. McKeith bought out Family Tree Maker, so Google McKeith and see all the ins and outs of using this program and get the latest price information. Family Tree Builder will transport data and pictures from MyHeritage. Again, the pictures will go in a different file, and it is free. So, to go to the program where your tree is and create a JETCOM to export, go to the program you want to bring your tree into and click on Import. I will talk about Ancestry first. When you first sign up for Ancestry, it will ask you if you want to bring over four generations from Family Search into your Ancestry account. If you don't have a tree in Ancestry, but you do in Family Search, this might be a good thing to do rather than a JETCOM. Going into an end of line person in Ancestry, a person with no parents in your Ancestry tree, on their details page, click on the tree icon. Once a relative has been linked with Family Search under the title Compare Person on Family Search, you can click under Add Relatives from Family Search. On the next pop up box, you can add family members one at a time or add four generations out from this person. If you do this, be sure you review and clean up your people in Family Search. Make sure there are no data problems or duplicates and so forth. You don't want to bring all the messy stuff into Ancestry. If you wanted to bring in a tree from another program into Ancestry, go under the word Trees in the top toolbar and click on Create and Manage Trees. On the next pop-up, click on Upload a JETCOM file. On the next box that comes up, click on Choose a File. When the list 
comes up, click on the file and then click on open. That file should go in on both of these boxes. You can give the tree another name here if you desired, then click upload. It might take a few minutes depending on how big your tree is. When it says 100% complete, your tree is now downloaded. Click here to open it. And here it is. To export a tree from Ancestry so you can move it into another program, go to the top heading entitled Trees. Click on Create and Manage Trees. On the next box that comes up, click Manage Tree beside the tree you want to export. Insert the name of your tree and add any information, then click on Save Changes. Here you indicate which person you want to start with. It defaults to you, but you could put in your, your dad's name if you only wanted his line, for instance. Click on Export Tree. On the next page, when you click on Download your JetCom file, it brings up your browser showing where it is putting your tree. You can change where you want to store it if you desire. This is saving it to my desktop and that's just fine with me. Next click on Save and it will be here and when you're ready to import this tree to another program, this is where you will find it. If you wanted just your mother's line, make her the starting person. If you just wanted your father's line, make him the starting person. If you just wanted your father's mother's line, make her the starting person, and so forth. Most of the time you will want both your mother and your father's line, so the starting person will be you. Recently my heritage has come up with a way to, in limited beta, to synchronize with Family Search. You must be a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and have a MyHeritage account. Once you sign in to your tree in MyHeritage account, it will ask you if you want to learn more and sync your family tree, family search tree with MyHeritage. It will ask you for a participation code and you can call MyHeritage to get the code. If you do this, I would suggest you do it at night after you have finished working on your computer, as it might take a while. I'm sure they will improve this in the future. The portion of the tree that will be imported to MyHeritage includes your ancestors for up to eight generations, your descendants for up to three generations, and your descendants of your ancestors for up to two generations for close ancestors and one generation of distant ancestors. The same goes to ancestors and descendants of your spouse. The import will include these people and their associated relationships, events, facts, life sketches, sources, reasons, notes, pictures, including portraits and photo tags, documents and audio recordings. If you have already have a tree on MyHeritage, it won't put in the synchronized tree in there, but it will add it as a new tree in MyHeritage. Once your tree has been synced with Family Search and you make changes in either MyHeritage or Family Search, you can go to the top toolbar in MyHeritage and sync again. You might get a reminder box if you haven't synced for a while. If I wanted to import a JetCom into MyHeritage, I would go to Tree View and under the tab Family Tree, click on Import JetCom. Browse your desktop or file to find the name of your tree and click on Open and the name of the tree comes in here. Then click on Upload. After it uploads, you will get a message saying your JetCom file was successfully uploaded and is currently being processed, and they will send you an email once the processing is complete. Let's suppose your tree is in MyHeritage and you wanted to move it to another database. Instead of importing or bringing a tree into MyHeritage, now you're going to send it out to Export. Click on Manage Trees. Under sa Sample Family Tree, click on Export to JetCom. Click on Begin the Export. Then you would save it to the desktop or other file after you have named it. Then whatever program you wanted to put it in, you would go to their Import tab to bring in your MyHeritage tree into the, de the desired program. If you wanted to put your MyHeritage tree on your Ancestry tree, or any other tree into multiple programs, you only have to export it once. 
then you can import it into multiple programs. If you want to import or export a file from or into MyHeritage from Family Tree Builder, go to the Help tab and click on Import Export JetCom under Family Tree Builder. It will give you all the information on how to do this and of course you can always contact them personally with questions. If I want to add this to find my past, I go to the home page and under Family Tree Heading, click Import a Tree. It opens my browser and from my desktop file, I click on Sample Family Tree, then click Open. Notice this name of Sample Tree is in this box chosen from my desktop file. Click Upload and it goes into Find My Past. Then going back on the home page under Family Tree, click on Sample Family Tree. And it opens up. To export a tree out of Find My Past, click on View All Trees and you can click on this icon to export that tree. Once it is downloaded, click on it. On the next screen that comes up, just indicate which folder you want to put it in and save it. It is now ready to move to another program. Under Roots Magic, which is a private database for managing a tree, go to File and you can import and export your tree here. Roots Magic is undergoing major changes by the end of 2019, so we will watch for that. It should be really nice. This is the first box that pops up and you can choose the one that applies. I'm going to import the sample tree to Roots Magic, so I check JetCom Other Programs. Then I click on I know where the file is because I know it's on the desktop. The next box that comes up, click on Sample Tree and then click Open. The next box to pop up will ask you where the source came from and the name of person and their address. This is optional. You can leave it blank if you choose. Click OK. The next box gives you the chance to choose how you want things displayed if you want to have LDS support or see the personal identification number after their family search name and so forth. After you select your choices, click OK. And voila, your tree appears. If I wanted to export a tree from Roots Magic, under the File tab, click on Export and this box comes up giving you options. Check the boxes you want to include in your export, then click OK. Give it a name and save it to the desktop or file just like before. Then you can import it into the desired database. Here in Ancestral Quest, there are two places you can import or export if you have a path or if you have a path file, you can convert it to an Ancestral Quest file. You can also link Ancestral file a uh, quest file with a family search tree. To import, click on the word import. To import from Ancestral Quest takes you through a few more steps, but follow the prompts and the program will tell you what to do. So I'm going to import from the desktop my overhold line this time. Click on it, then click on open. On the next box, click on open again. Check the options you want to see and click OK. On the next box, make sure the correct tree is highlighted, then click on Select. Give your tree a name, then click on Create. Under File, I can open up any tree listed here, and you can see the new tree opened up behind. To export a tree from Ancestral Quest, click here. Check your options then uh, click on Export. Put it in a file and click on Export again. It will be here when you're ready to move it into another program. In Legacy, you will follow the same basic steps as in the other programs. Their file options go across the top. In Legacy 8, they just created a whole new file for my sample family tree and put an icon on my desktop. So Sample Family Tree is not found in my real tree legacy file. It is in its own separate little file with its own name on my desktop, which looks like this when opened up. 
There's a new Legacy 9 out now with a price from $9.95 to $79.95 and you can check Google to see their current prices and functions. Just to show you, after the JetCom comes in, when I go to a source, I can see this source, I just can't open it. I can edit it. So keep this in mind when you want to do a JetCom into any program. This concludes this presentation. Here's wishing all your genealogical databases will have smooth sailing. Thanks for watching.